Hey, um, just an update regarding self-harm. Um, I have been self-harm free since August 2008. So that's almost a year now, which is great. I'm really happy about that. And I guess I just want to talk about um, how I've been coping and what I've been doing and so forth. Well, how I've been coping. Um, I had a really unfortunate uh, suicide attempt in 2007. Uh, I mentioned it in my last video, but I didn't go into detail uh, due to obvious reasons. The obvious reasons is because um, there's been like a number of suicides in the news uh, and uh, regarding young people and I thought well that's not a good thing to say um, so I just mention yeah I'll just mention it that I did have a really bad situation where I did end up in hospital but thankfully I'm here today and that's the important thing. Anyway, we've got a situation with a lot of people um, commenting on my video about Xanax and self-injury. Um, that video has nothing to do, I like, no, no relation whatsoever to Gerard Way and his um, Xanax addiction that he did have. Um, I didn't know about him before I started my addiction. Um, so I just wanted to clear that up, you know, there's nothing to connect it whatsoever. It's just I heard about it later on and I thought, oh, okay, he had one too. That's, you know, that I guess it's common from there. And I found out that it is common and people do, you know, suffer from it. And it is a terrible addiction. It is not fun to go through. Anyway, um... Well, yes, like I said, uh, August 2008, and it is now July 2009, so it is almost one year of self-harm free for me, which is fantastic. And I I guess what stopped me was um, I don't have any negative thoughts anymore, like no negative thoughts whatsoever. I don't um, think about suicide. I don't think about self-harming. Uh, I think about the positive things of life now because I do have a good job now. Um, I, you know, my life is my job at the moment and I'm very happy and, you know, everything is, is going well, which is fantastic. I, I never thought it would go this well for me at this point <laughs> I thought that I would just feel the same forever but when you think positive and when you do th things for yourself and you make things happen things can change and they can be positive that's only if you want to do it yourself but if you just you know dwell on the past and you know not change anything at all then it's just going to stay how it is but if you change it and you stay to the point um, where you're like, oh, um, oh, I don't think that even made sense. Well, what I'm trying to get to is the fact that, you know, if you want to do something and make it happen, you've got to make it happen yourself. You can't just sit there and think, oh, okay, um, I want this to happen, but I'm not going to do anything about it that's just a waste of time and it'll just make you even more depressed about it and you'll you know want to <laughs> seriously um have a lot of trouble to do with that but if you do something that is you know positive nothing negative for example i thought oh um i really want this job right and I tried my hardest and I got it and I've been there for over a year now everything's good um, you know um, I'm having a good time which is fantastic and I couldn't thank anyone at all except myself because I did it myself you know I made it happen 
I uh, I made this happen for me to be happy and it's for me to be happy for myself you know I'm not trying to make everybody else happy it's just for me that's a lot of that's another thing that a lot of people get confused uh, about is that you know I do things to make other people happy I used to think like that and I'm you know I, I guess I did back in um uh, 2005 I think it was when I was on Jamie's Kitchen Australia um, I always said well I said on that a certain television program that I only did things to make my family happy I didn't really know what I was doing back then um, I have different thoughts about that t today I think that I was a bit stupid back then um, I regret some things that I've done in the past, but one thing that I don't regret is my self-harm. Because if you regret that, you're going to dwell on it forever, and you're just never going to, you know, get over it. Now, I'm comfortable about walking down the street with, no, you know, with uh, short sleeves. I don't care. If people decide to judge me, I don't care. Um, it doesn't get to me anymore like it used to. Like in my previous video, I was really annoyed and pissed off how people treated me differently and whatnot. But today, I don't care. And I'm happy. And that's the main thing. And I'm pleased that I can say today that I'm happy and everything is going well for me. So... And for everybody else who's going through a difficult time at the moment, I wish you luck. And I ask you, if you want to make things better, you have to do something about it yourself. You can't just sit there and, you know, wait, th wait for things to happen because it won't. You're the one that can only make it happen. So that is it. Everything is good. Everything, you know, couldn't be better. I'm pleased with myself and I just you know I thought well might as well have an update and there you go I hope everyone's well and uh, like I said if you judge me and if you write uh, you know all these comments call me emo or whatever uh, I don't care it really doesn't affect me the only thing that will happen is that you'll be blocked and um, yeah, that's it. And the comments deleted. But um, other than that, it's all good. So I wish you all the very best of luck. Take care. Bye.